Did you ever wonder how millions of vehicles are controlled at intersections? Welcome to the streets of busy city where vehicles are constantly on the move. With so many vehicles on the road it can be dangerous. But there is a simple solution to keep the road safe and efficient. Let's take a closer look at the traffic signals. The first system of traffic signals was installed outside of the House of Parliament in London on December 9, 1868. These lights were gas powered and put up by the hand. However, they tended to explode on the occasions which decreased their popularity and usage. The first electric traffic signal was installed in Cleveland, Ohio in the United States in 1914. But these traffic lights were still operated manually by pressing a button to change the signals to red and green. The color green meant to go and red was to stop. For coordinated signal system and better traffic management, the use of computer-controlled traffic signals became more common and popular in 1950. Today, traffic signals are essential part of modern cities, controlling the flow of vehicles and pedestrians to improve safety and reduce congestion. How do they work? As you probably know that most of the lights are featuring three different colors. The green light signals that is safe to proceed through the intersection. The yellow or the amber light is also known as a cautious light which alerts the drivers that the light is about to change to red. So when the drivers encounter the yellow light, they know that it is necessary to slow down and come to the stop at the intersection. The red light of course indicates that the drivers must stop and wait for the green light before the traveling through the intersections. Although most of the traffic lights have similar appearance, but they often function in very different ways. The most common traffic lights work on simpler timers. Depending on the traffic levels at a particular intersection, the traffic light will cycle through green, yellow and red at regular intervals to make sure that there is a consistent flow of the traffic in all directions through the intersection. Timing Timer-based systems are excellent for the busy areas where there is inconsistent and heavy volumes of traffic. Another important decision is how long each sequence or phase should last. Ideally, a green signal or light should last longer enough to clear the queue that built up during the red light. But this isn't always possible, especially during the peak times and the busy intersections. In these cases where the intersection is saturated, a green light must be extended for each phase to minimize the startup and clearance times, which are the periods when the intersection isn't being utilized to its maximum capacity. The amber light needs to last longer enough for the driver to perceive the warning and de-accelerate their vehicles to stop at a very comfortable rate. So one second for every 10 miles per hour or 16 km per hour of speed limit is generally a thumb rule. So the traffic engineers also take into account the slope of the approach and other local considerations while setting the timing of the yellow lights. Sensors in the areas where the traffic can be irregular and unpredictable, the timer-based systems don't work very well. For example, in rural areas, the timer-based systems might have the drivers that stop unnecessarily when there is no traffic present. So in these situations, sensor-based traffic signals maximize the traffic efficiency by only functioning when the traffic is present. This type of signal relies on the data from the traffic detection systems. These detectors can be the video cameras or radars, but most importantly they can be inductive loop sensors that are embedded to the road surface. So these are essentially large metal detectors that measure whether the car or truck is present and sometimes to annoyance of the bicycles, scooters and motorcycles that may be too small to trigger the loop. So whatever the type of sensor is, they all feed the data into equipment cabinet that is located nearby. You have probably seen hundreds of these cabinets without realizing these purposes. So some traffic signals in large cities are even advanced enough to allow the certain types of vehicles to control them when necessary. So it allows quick passage through the intersection for specific vehicles. So 
So these systems are known as traffic preemption systems that allow emergency vehicles such as ambulance, fire trucks and police cars to change the traffic signals as they approach, which enables them to reach their destinations faster. So that is the basic function of traffic lights. If you really like this video then please go ahead and share this video. Thanks for watching.